What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hi. Gameplay TV. Time for another episode. Here we are, Wednesday night. What do we got going on this week? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. All right. It's de it's Destiny Geddon is what it is. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I don't even want to be here right now. I want to be at home. Yeah, you, want to, you, want to, you want to be doing that? Dude, that's why I Skyped in, boys. Uh, Steve, Steve's uh, joining us right remotely now. via Skype yeah, for the first he's time. he's back from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How's Destiny? Dude, it's awesome. That's why I'm not there right now. Ah, damn it. All, All right, right, so... What? But yeah, let's, uh, let's get to the news so we can get to Destiny. Yeah, what do we got going on? First thing this week, Apple's big press event this week. We got the iPhone 6 and the iWatch. Or no, it's not the iWatch, it's the Apple Watch. Let's start with the iPhone 6. There it is. So you were going to have an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, I think they're mainly doing this to compete with the Galaxy because isn't the Galaxy a little bit bigger? Well, I like, like, I just got the iPhone 5S, so... I, I feel like every version of their iPhone is getting bigger and bigger because everyone just wants a bigger screen now because everything's touchscreen. Yeah. yeah. They, it's always, like, those those tablet phones that people want. Like, it's always so, those in-between, so... I'm super yeah. behind on phones. I just got an iPhone 4. And so. guess what? It works perfectly well. You know what it I mean? It's okay, but, you know, the newer ones are faster. So, yeah. you know, they're nice to have in As long moment. as it makes a phone call... In text, those are the only things I ask for. If it All does right. that, I'm good. Yeah, right. the same way. So you got so we don't need the latest and greatest. I think I'm I'm the same way. Yeah, I just got like I, yeah. Personally, I'm not a phone person, but so we've got it's slimmer, and it's got a new chip. It's got I think the A8 now, so stuff should be faster. It's weird though. People like will wait in line for this shit, and it's kind of like, you serious? I'm sure people were like that back in like 1912. When they were like, we got the new rotary yeah, dial for, phone. For what? For we the typewriter? People, in, people <laughs> for, in powdered wigs hanging out at ye old Joe's, like, shop and like, Electronics. Oh, whatever, new... yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell just delivered the new phone. I can't wait to check that out. The other thing they announced yeah, is this watch. thing, the, this stupid-ass watch. What, does everybody right. have to be James Bond now? Yes. Why? <laughs> now, I believe you need, this is just, I, I think Samsung has a similar thing, or one of the other competitors has a similar thing. The watch needs the phone to, like, actually do the heavy lifting. Like, there's not any processing power in the friggin' watch. So I think you have to have your phone with you, you know, for the watch to be able to work. Yeah. What, just, Which, like, stream stuff off the phone, then, so, like, display stuff? Yeah. Don't they already have, like, an iPod Touch that's, like, pretty much that size? Probably. It's like, uh... Well, yeah, it's and like here's, the same thing. Here's what I want to ask too: Why do people need new watches when we have these cell phones anyway? I feel like the watch is an outdated piece <laughs> of jewelry yeah. or outdated accessory. <laughs> Seriously, people, since we had since the cell phone came into existence, I felt not that I like wearing a watch. Anyways, I felt no need to wear a watch since then because it's got the time. More people go like this instead of like this when they ask, "Do you have the time?" So this is just. Another useless invention for a useless species known as the human race. <laughs> Bringing it back. Well, that starting at starts, yeah, well, all, all that like, for three hundred and forty. Yeah, start well, start, starting at three hundred forty-nine dollars, coming next year. Right? Well, what about for forget this? Games. Whatever. What, this, what about what? What did you say? I said, what about these type of watches for like special occasions? Oh, special like, occasions. Oh, yeah. You know, still, still occasion, stupid. I like to wear my <laughs> Apple Watch. Still stupid. Get a Rolex like a like a real like a yeah, real like baller. Yeah, real classy man. Get a Rolex like a real baller. <laughs> All right, next news item. This Minecraft shit, dude. All right. So the rumor is Microsoft may be possibly buying Minecraft developer Mojang or Mohang, whatever the, whatever the shit this is. <laughs> yeah. Not not just development company. Uh, to the tune of two billion dollars or somewhere in that neighborhood. So a lot of people are saying, well, why now? Because Minecraft has already sold, like, what, 50-something odd million copies. And so why is Microsoft going to pony up all this money to buy it? It's already, you know, everyone's already playing it. But the thing that I've seen being thrown around is they want it for the user base. So they're going to have they're going to have the license, they're going to have this thing, and they're going to market all kinds of new content to, to the kids that are already playing this thing. And all that money is going to go to them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Money making Money machine right there. Exactly, <laughs> Microsoft. Find those what hot the, properties. What the hell's he doing? Yeah. So yeah. Well, I was never too big on Minecraft. Me neither. So. 
Good for Microsoft. I suppose if I could own it and make a ton of money off it, I would too. Oh, and the other thing they mentioned is that, like, this guy Notch, he's already rich as all hell, but they said he's probably going to leave the company once the deal goes through if it does happen, which isn't surprising because yeah. he probably stands to make even more, you know, countless millions of dollars off of the deal. So. Oh, yeah. But then, so he'll leave. The Minecraft IP will stay with them, and then he'll go off and do, you know, something do else. Do whatever, yeah. Probably just go on perpetual vacation, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, he just doesn't need to do anything else. Just <laughs> yeah. takes that one great sure. idea. Like that guy who invented yeah. the pet rock. The pet rock. All right. Never mind. So, so that, that'll, that'll do it for the news this week, though. So those two big things. Not a whole lot this week. Things are starting to... I think now things are going to pick up a little bit because we're going to get into the holiday season. You're short, talking about games. Here. Yeah, let's get to the game. So this week, of course, the hot ticket this week is Destiny. Damn it. Destiny. Let's roll this friggin' footage, man. Oh, my God. All right, so where should we start? Because I think, Jeff, you've probably logged the most hours at this point. I jumped in. Okay, I, here's, here's what I want. we got a couple things that we got to get out of the way first. Um, so let's see. Let me change this thing real quick. Let's get this out all of the right. way. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, $500 million in 24 hours. Now, that's sales. Uh, I don't think that's, like, just profit off the top. I think the game sold $500 million worth of Destiny copies or Destiny PlayStation yeah. 4 bundles or whatever. Yeah, so between the bundle purchases and the game itself, that's what they're saying. Uh, that's that's a lot of money. That it is. That it is. It's, uh, it's, I mean, I'm not surprised the game's had a lot of hype behind it, and it's sold... Um, I don't, I don't know sales wise what records it broke, but it, you know, I, I believe it was like we were talking before the most pre-ordered game in history. Right, most pre-ordered game. I don't yeah. think it's, I don't think it's going to come close to breaking the COD because Ghost sold a lot. Uh, which was the other one? Black Ops Two sold a ton, and then Grand Theft Auto. But you keep in mind, those are all sequels to existing properties. The big thing here is that this is a brand new IP. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, a brand new IP by Bungie. Yeah. Yeah, Bungie. I mean. All right, so the other thing I wanted to mention, too, is so, like, I was going to say, I jumped in, like, not super late, but late last night, and, man, the freaking PSN, man, freaking shit, I had to wait three and a half hours to get that patch. It freaking sucked. Like, I was sitting there, I, I kid you not, it was, it had nine minutes left. It said nine minutes remaining for, like, 15 minutes, and then it went down to eight minutes. So I couldn't yeah, even get in to play last night. People want to play this game. I am. Um, I, 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 I guess that was, any, I guess it was to be expected. I have expected. not had any problems. I, I picked... I picked this up with the bundle, which is very nice, by the way, at midnight, took it home. I, I mean, I, I set it up, I did a few other things, but by like a little after one, I was starting to play. That's with updating the system, then installing Destiny and updating that as well. Um, it, it, it worked pretty quick. I, I, so I'm, a, I'm actually surprised that I, I haven't hit any like cues or anything. I've been able to jump in and out. Um, I know other people have had some issues, but it's to, honestly, it's to be expected with a game like this. So I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I think if there are any issues, they'll have them cleaned up pretty quick because they're a pretty high-profile company. All right. So let's get into the game then. So as you can tell from our graphic on the screen here, this is we're going to do a first look. We're not going to do a full-blown review because we honestly haven't had enough time to, you know, uh, get a feel for it, right? Uh, I feel even, and I'm sure now people, by the time everyone watches this, they're going to be like, oh, well, this message board, I read this. The, the main campaign isn't supposed to take too long. I think I'm actually at the tail end of it. Um, granted, I've been playing it straight almost since it since it launched with a break here and there the number i saw was between 15 to 20 hours yeah that's what i saw but it's you know that that's just the main campaign that's really meant to get you leveled up and then you know there's a lot of uh multiplayer activities you're supposed to partake in like the the crucible and then they have the heroic versions of the strikes which i've only done a few regular strikes so far plus the raid content and i don't know if what else is going to be in for endgame but there's a lot of you know stuff that you're supposed to gear do to gear up your character after you hit the level cap. I yeah. just think where the game came out on Tuesday, you know, it, it's it, difficult to review it, because there's just so much content. You know, it. and I'm loving. I will say this. I'll preface this by saying I am loving this game so far. But I would hate to give a premature review if you know a week from now maybe I, I'll I'll hit level cap and realize there isn't anything else to do 
despite what reports have said, and it's not that fun. But um, so if it keeps it up with what it is so far, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely be loving this game for a while. But you know, I'd like to be able to get a little bit more in depth before giving my and like my like we were talking before. It's like yeah, you hit level twenty, but then you can you can kind of level up with like armor upgrades and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll follow that. Uh, it follows that MMO like Diablo, any type of uh, loot loot based game. Where you know, yeah. you hit a level, but then from there just better and better gear. Uh, yeah. I mean, Chris, how, how, what what have you played so far? All right, so I like like I said before, I haven't played as much as you have, but my my first impressions was like this this is Halo the MMO dude like. It looks like Halo. It feels like Halo. Although there's so many similarities, like, and I get some of the stuff is to be expected, but I think that's that's essentially what they've done in a nutshell. Like they added MMO, MMO elements to Halo, and they put the whole they put it on like you know persistent online world, and that's what it is. I mean, it's the production values are there. It's super high quality. It feels great, but so far I'm not seeing a whole lot of you know, and I hate, I hate to say the whole lot of innovation because you know the FPS genre has been done to death, but wasn't there that other game, Tabula Rasa or whatever, that was an yeah, FPS Rasa, MMO? Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, <laughs> Something that like was... that. I didn't play that one, but I heard it was a similar kind of thing. Like, because well, in general, MMOs are not are they, FPSs. They've been, well, they've been trying to do something like this for a while. I think other companies take it. That game, Defiance, came out not too long ago, where they did. Oh the, yeah, with that the, TV tie-in, the right? Yeah. Tie-in. Yeah. I, I I played like a beta. You played of that? Uh, yeah, there was a free beta on PS3, and I was like, I'll try it, and I played it a little bit, and I was just like, whatever. I don't know. I just th- this game, you know, just has that has that right. The problem with those other games is because it's not really an MMO, but it takes a lot of stuff from MMO. But it's very action based, and this one has the polish, I think, necessary to have uh, like an action like game system on like an to an, add it onto an MMO game or. You know, an MMO action hybrid. This has the right amount of polish to represent the action. Yeah. Like, because when you play a game like Defiance, it was very. Um, it, it didn't have like a lot of weight behind it with the combat. It felt very like cheap MMO ish, and it was a free to play game. What that's to be yeah. expected. So this, you know, this looks and feels nice. Plus, it has that awesome like, you know, world with lots of people. So, uh, Chris, you right? But, uh, sorry to interrupt, but do you do you agree? It's freaking Halo, dude. Like, well, do you disagree what, with that's that? That's what I'm about to say. So, I, it sounds like it sounds this is like what you it don't, is. You don't, Shields, you don't armor, really, grenades. It's, you, the controls are exactly the same, dude. So it's it sounds like Halo. you don't like that. You, it seems like you don't really like that. You're using you're saying that in like a derogatory way. So, is that something that you're kind of like? No, oh, I, I mean, like I, see, I I did not join you guys on the beta, so I don't know. Maybe I was expecting something a little bit different, but that's I mean, th- this is what these guys have been doing for the better part of what a decade and a half. I mean, Halo, yeah. as far as the controls and stuff. Uh, I think, you know, why why mess with that? I mean, that's what they're known for. Uh, the the universe is different. I would say it's different from Halo. Um, some of, There's definitely aspects of it that are just like Halo, definitely. But I, I feel like it, it brings its own thing to the table yeah. as well. It has its own look. Um, but, yeah, it, it's definitely... It does a lot of stuff that other games have done. I just think it does a bunch of them together pretty well. Is it, like, the end-all, be-all that, you know, some people have thought this game would be? I don't want to say you're some no to that yet. It's, but. it's, it's uh, again, it's too, it's But, too I mean, it, it's to be expected, though. I mean, what was that's all Bungie was working on. That was their franchise, Halo, for the past 10 years. So when they do another game and it's an FPS, I mean, obviously I want it to be different, but I, I can only imagine there's going to be, you know, a few similarities there. And, you know, if, if, there, if there's going to be any carryover, to me, it's going to be the feel of the game, you know, because they, they definitely got that right for a console FPS to have, this you know, is tight all- controls. Is also only the beginning. That's true. That and that's the other thing too. I think people like there's going to be so much added to this game. Um, they already have expansion set up. Which oh, they got DLC planned. Well, it's not like they develop this stuff at the same time. It's just nice to know that there's con- there is more content ready to be released in the next couple of months. So I'd rather know ahead of time that I have stuff planned so I can plan. For yeah, it that's awesome. Saying okay, well, I beat this game. I can't wait for the DLC. Ooh. Six months comes around, DLC hits, and I'm bored, about, and I don't want to yeah. go back to the game. So. What's your uh, character and class and stuff like I'm that? I'm playing a hunter. I, I, I was playing a hunter. And you a, played that in the beta as well. Yeah, right? and I'm playing a uh, titan as well. I tried out a titan. Titan is um, really fun. That's what the I The characters aren't, like, the difference is it's more based on their specials. So Titan is more power attack. And yeah, like it's yeah. more about armor. But, I mean, really, you could, 
you can play either character the way you want with, uh, you know, based around the weapons you want to use. But it's more about, you know, how your specials are, you know. And a lot of it, too, comes down to, you know, what's what your look what you want your look to be like the hunter has a cool hood and stuff <laughs> that's yeah definitely i will say that's definitely a solid point for me because it just looks awesome but yeah you know all the classes you know you can play and kind of play in your own type of combat style because you can be a titan or a warlock or a hunter and make any of them a sniper i mean i'd say if, if you're looking to be a sniper you know obviously there are certain things i feel like a hunt would be geared towards for a hunter but yeah you know you can you can play it a few ways but I don't know, like I said, I'm still going through the game. There's still things I want to see in, like, the... Because there's the subclasses, the advanced classes you can switch to. Yeah. Uh, Steve. Yeah. Are you, what What have you been... What, have, what, what are your thoughts on this game so far? It's fun. Uh, it's definitely awesome for, like, co-op and stuff like that. Like, when Jeff got his PS4, like, right away, we were just, like, linked up playing. And it's it's pretty seamless, like... Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, it, it's really similar to Halo, but I feel like it's like in a good way. Interesting. You know, it's it's fun. It's yeah. It's definitely a good co-op game. And it, it, what's cool is like, it's like, it's got like the MMO aspect where it's like you're constantly, you know, getting, you know, new gear and like you're teaming up with lots of people, but you don't have to do that. Like there's also like tons of people in the game that you don't have to interact with. And you can just like team up with like your friend or whatever. And yeah. I, you know, so I feel like the, if you have friends to play with, like I feel like this game is perfect. Like especially for like a console, or on a for a game for a new console, it's, it's like perfect. Yeah, I remember like it was awesome when like us three were playing, playing it. The, the it was just it was good, definitely. Uh, I, I I will say this too. I've noticed so it's, it, it, it's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um I'm actually like playing certain parts of the game and like I'm getting my ass kicked. And, like, I was surprised. I figured, like, I'd be able to, like, breeze through this, like, no problem. Because, like, the thing with the beta is none of it was, like, too difficult except for, like, one of the strike mission, the strike missions on the beta you could do. There was one part that was a little bit difficult um, when you didn't have, like, like everyone on the ball. But this is, like, just playing this some of the missions on my own, I'm like, wow, they, some of these got, like, really tough. Like, I had to make, like, multiple attempts on a couple of them. Like, not the hardest game ever, but I, I was actually surprised that it wasn't, like, a complete like another pushover yeah um so but you know very enjoyable uh, i i noticed you don't need a uh, playstation plus to play this game either you just can't join up with other people but you can technically play it without a subscription yeah what's up with that i noticed that like there was a couple ones where it's like i think i was trying to select a rate or something and it said psn plus required yeah so certain ones i think it locks you out of altogether or is that like you said just as you can't you, you can't get in there because you can't pair up with yeah, somebody yeah you can't so you oh, can, so the match, it, it depends on the match yeah, making. Yeah, so you then. can okay. technically play this game without, I mean, you still have to be online, but you can do it without the subscription service. So that's actually kind of cool, though, because I actually, I set up my PlayStation. I didn't renew my PSM, my PS Plus yet. I have since then, but at first I was like, oh, well, let me try that in a second. And I was like, oh, it lets me in. And then I was playing for a while, and I was just like, what's going on? And I realized, okay, I can't jump in a game with anyone, but I can literally play through any of the like single player portions yeah with without uh having to have have that subscription so if that's like a detractor to anyone saying oh i want to try this out but you know i don't i don't want to try this a subscription service to, you know even though i think you should because the ps plus program is awesome um you know you don't need to pay for a subscription to enjoy part of the game you won't get the full in my opinion, the full game because you can't jump in with other people. But you know, for whatever reasons you're not subscribing, you can still try it out at least. Yeah, I mean that's a good that's good. But I mean, to me, it's like when I had the the most fun with this game is is playing with playing with my friends. Yeah. Like and like going through those raids together. Like it was so much fun. Uh, I mean, I mean that's kind of like any MMO or co op game, but. Um, this one in particular, I just like, I mean, just adding to the world and the, the, and all the environments and just, like I said, doing, you know, playing with your friends that came out weird, but anyways, <laughs> um, I, uh, <laughs> I love that by the way, when you but, level yeah. up and you get like the fire shoots up, it's very, uh, satisfying when you're like fighting waves of enemies and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, the only thing to, they could have made it 
they could have gone a step up and made it better. And when it, that level up pops up because there's flames and stuff, there should have been a voice going, level up. Like, yeah. They should have just got the Unreal uh, Tournament announcer guy. <laughs> like, no, like, make it Matt been, been more like, super yeah. macho. Maybe, maybe three in the morning be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I've been doing. I've been drinking 16-ounce Red Bulls and just, just staying up oh, playing. Geez. I haven't even gotten into the gear grind yet. I'm excited for that, where I'm just hunting for, like, a helm or something. Being like, whoa, I need it. Yeah. Gear doesn't come up as, as often as I'd like it to. I think it's, it, well, it's going to be one of those things that's going to pop up more towards the end, because right now it just kind of naturally comes in when you need it, because we're still leveling up, though. I've, once you get to the end, you start to run all the heroic versions of the um, dungeons. You can just jump in, like, a random queue and play through, like, the random dungeons. And that's where it's going to come more into play, from everything I've seen anyways. I mean, a couple, a people have hit max level yet, but it's, it's been a day, so it, it's hard to tell at this point. But that's from what I've gathered. It's, it's going to play more into after you hit, like, that level 20 when it will start to pick up. But, I mean, it's made a difference. You've noticed it, like, when we got the, um, the special DLC weapons. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's, you know, even leveling up, playing when we were because we were pl- playing on hard mode, and some of those missions will kick your ass on it, so... We got the special, it was the Vanguard, like the day one purchase DLC, the Vanguard pack. And you can buy those weapons that are just like double the damage of anything else you have. And uh, it it makes an improvement. So even when leveling up, especially if you're trying to play hard mode with a buddy, um, it it helps. And it's it's satisfying when you get your ass kicked and you update these more powerful weapons and you see an actual noticeable improvement when you're um, blowing enemies' heads off. Which looks awesome, by the way. When you blow their head off, a little puff of smoke, it's like... Oh, yeah, and they turn into the light or whatever. Yeah, well, I don't know. Each enemy dies differently, and there's, like, there's, like, four... Spoiler alert. There's, like, four, like, groups of enemies that you face, like, races, so it's, uh... It's pretty awesome. At least four I've seen so far. So, again, still still progressing through. Yeah. So I think that's it at the moment. Yeah, we're not quite ready to pass judgment on it yet. we got to play it some more. But, yeah, we'll see. So we'll follow up on this next week. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out. I think that Microsoft is pretty – they're probably kicking themselves over this one now for yeah. letting Bungie, you know, for releasing them and saying, hey, well, you know, let's, whichever – Let's let, – let, I do want to touch on that, too. Yeah, I mean, so, Sony, like, totally, like – like oh yeah, Sony put the marketing Destiny. push behind this, and they, now they're reaping the benefits. Yeah, they hogged Destiny, and they got the bundle, which <laughs> I purchased, and it's awesome. Microsoft was, um, did you see that deal they came out with just like just a, like a week ago? It's like, if you buy an Xbox One, we'll give you one of these games for free, yeah. and then one of them was <laughs> Destiny. So it was like... Yeah, I you mean, see like the Cologne ad? Yeah, oh yeah, it was the Cologne ad. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, yeah. yeah, they did that one too. Wow, I mean, honestly... That, that's a nice incentive to buy an Xbox One. I just personally wanted a PS4, uh, but you know that, that's funny that you know to, that that was a pretty slick move. To it, yeah, combat that's gotta that, uh, that, that's that, gotta that, hurt. Get that <laughs> crap out of here. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, hey, you see, uh, PlayStation, Sony's doing it again in Japan. Uh, they have the the new Batman uh, Arkham Knight ad in Japan, and it says you can play this on PlayStation Four. And whatever the, the date. Oh is. yeah, yeah they dro- was, yeah they dropped Xbox. It's not coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's they they, but it's like the ad only mentions PS4 too. It's like, but it's just funny you see that too because it's coming out for Xbox. But they're oh, like, all right. Oh. Yeah. Was there that? I saw. I thought there was another big title where they just said straight up like, no, it's not coming to Xbox One because we know like no one has it. It's only going to be on PS4. Oh, man. Maybe that no. that was earlier this week. There was another. One. Maybe it wasn't Batman. I know. Well, I know in Batman they at least they dropped the, they like in one of the advertisements, and it was like it was a major like advertisement from Japan too, which might have been the reason why they didn't mention the Xbox One. But um, yeah, they totally just like mentioned the, the one just that one system it's coming out for, and it's just like oh yeah, no no mention of Xbox. So it's uh you know whoever's whoever's paying those dollars, I guess yeah, it's the seriously the game advertisement. Yeah. All right. So that was our first look at Destiny. We'll follow up next week. We'll see what we think. Yeah, we should I'm have plenty it. of time to play more. Uh, I'm loving it so far, but I mean, there's still so much more to see. Um, so, I mean, right now I'm leaning towards a buy, but uh, I guess we'll you know tune in next week, find out, and uh, see what we finally think. Yeah, we'll have to see. All right. So I think that's going to do it for this week's episode, guys. Guys, check out our website at Gamesling TV for more videos, news, and other game-related stuff. Uh, next week we'll talk about Destiny like like I said five times already but we're also going to get to Sims 4 next week finally any other final words? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all I have. Steve, I'll log on later. So Steve, thanks for Skyping in this week. You can do it next week, too. Yeah, have some. He's F-Tom, bro. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Keep playing. We'll see you next time on Game Screen.